In today's video, I look at the parallels between homeschooling and selling your home. Now, if you're a parent working from home and managing childcare commitments, we salute you, that's for sure. It's not easy dashing from one task to the next in what feels like a never-ending lockdown jungling act, but there is a bright side. Some of the lessons you're learning right now will come in handy should you plan to sell your home. The power of patience. The secret to staying sane while homeschooling is patience. Losing your temper when your little darling refuses to knuckle down rarely achieves anything and often makes the situation worse. We live in a fast paced world, well at least we did before the pandemic, and can feel irritated if we don't see immediate results. But good things often take time and patience. It's the same with selling a property. It can be frustrating when the process doesn't move as quickly or as smoothly as you'd like, but throwing a tantrum won't achieve anything. It pays to do your homework. Show me a parent who hasn't resorted to Google at some point while homeschooling, and I'll show you a liar. All parents need to do a little research from time to time, whether to brush up on long division or Roman history. These research skills will prove useful when it comes to selling your home. By analysing the Salford or Warrington housing market, you can determine a realistic asking price and get ideas about how to present your, home, your property. Don't be a control freak. When you're in the homeschooling bubble, it's easy to be consumed by worry. When will the schools reopen? Are any other parents doing a better job than me? The voice in your head can go into overdrive. But the reality is you can't change any of these feelings, so there's no point in obsessing over them. It's the same with the property market. You can control some things, such as your asking price and presentation, but other elements are out of your hands. If you'll find yourself in a chain, you'll be relying on a string of other buyers and sellers to get their finances and legal paperwork sorted. If things stall, stay calm and remain optimistic. Next up, be flexible. You can't work from home and supervise children without exercising a serious degree of flexibility. Whether it's conducting a Zoom meeting with a child rolling around at your feet or working weekends, it's all about getting the job done, one way or another. Remember this when you sell your home. If you need to declutter, do it. If your front garden looks like a junkyard, clear it up. Don't be too precious. Think about what it will take to get the best price for your home and make it happen. Here at Oliver James, we always do our homework so we can deliver the best for our clients. Get in touch to learn more about how we can help you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.